camera's working. Ooh. Well, good evening, and thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, this is something a lot different than what we've done in the past. Uh, this is a chamber recital, which means the students are going to be drawn and quartered into smaller groups and individuals uh, that are going to come out and perform for you. Uh, we had a small spring group this year and didn't really have enough to make a full concert band. So we came up with the idea that we will put them in smaller groups and just strengthen their skills. Uh, and it's been a great learning experience. Many of these will be back next year as we add to the next year's crew. And I think it's been very beneficial. So you're gonna hear a lot of individuals where they've had to learn to stand on their own two feet and do the work. And it's been really, really good. So I'm very proud of all of them. So we hope you enjoy the, the first half of this and uh, we'll get started here shortly. Thank you. 
Yeah, there it is. Okay. New technology. Don't get everything together. Well, there you have it. A lot of the groups and a lot of them played a lot of different instruments. Many of these were taught this semester. So students playing different instruments that they have not experienced before. So it's been, it's been really, really good to have them uh, be a part of this. Uh, the next group we're going to have out here is a group that uh, from Eastland County here, the Big Country Brass Quintet. Uh, they're going to play a series of songs here. And we wanted the students to kind of hear a group that's been doing it for a little while and how we go about uh, the adventures. There's a lot of adventures in small ensembles and things can, they can happen. So uh, it is an experience that you learn to live with and you get better as you do it. So I've been very proud of all of these kids and what we've been able to do. And we look forward to how much it's really gonna help them when we start next fall uh, getting ready for that. Now I'm gonna have to go get my horn. So we'll be here shortly. And then I'm gonna turn this over to Mr. Bob Johnson.
2016. I think this old man was written in about 2006. Uh, Robert was a founding member of the International Trumpet Guild, which is a, a guild for trumpets worldwide. Strange thing about that name. And he was the professor at Yale that most likely taught trumpet and composition. He is there are a lot of brass uh, composing along with orchestra. Our next number is also by a trumpet teacher. Uh, he was my very first trumpet teacher that I had in college. His name is Fisher Tull. We knew him as Mickey. Uh, Mickey Tull writes uh, a piece of music called Exhibition. It, it is a demonstration piece for brass quintet. It's going to be six movements in length. The first one is an introduction, and then the next four movements will be solos by uh, and featuring the different instruments of the quintet. Uh, you'll know who they are when you hear them. So this is Mickey Tall's exhibition.
century and during that time performers would would go to these taverns and they would sing while standing on benches which gives rise to the modern day choral risers I suppose this song was written in uh, 1684 which is right in the middle of what we call the Baroque period of music uh, the Baroque 1600 to 1750 uh, George Frederick Handel and Johann Sebastian Bach, or if you prefer, Johann Sebastian Bach, <laughs> were the composers of that time period. Uh, this is a, there's words to this song. I'm going to give you the English translation. It could have been a funny place, but the roaring of slaughtered animals and the drunk songs of miners probably do not play, make a place more aristocratic. So evidently this tavern out in the middle of Bavaria or Germany, somewhere in Europe, had their own slaughterhouse uh, and were in a area of that country where mining was a major industry and the miners liked to go there after work and have a few uh, whatever they had and uh, have sing drunk songs. Uh, one thing about the Baroque period of music, uh, they liked what is known as terrorist dynamics. And terrorist dynamics is where it suddenly gets softer or it suddenly gets louder. It's not a gradual in increase or a, or a decrease in the volume level. So I think you'll hear that to be pretty obvious. Now, Bakken Sanger Leader. Thank you. 
Misbehaving was written in 1929 by a, a man named Thomas Waller. Thomas, when he was in public schools from New York City, weighed 300 pounds uh, and a size 15 shoe. And as kids would normally do, they gave him a nickname Fats. And Fats stuck the rest of his life. And he was known uh, throughout his career as, as Fats Waller. Uh, Fats Waller and Andy Razaf teamed up to write a Broadway play called Connie's Hot Chocolates. It was an all-black cast. Uh, Louis Armstrong at one time was a headliner for this particular play. Uh, I did some research on the song Ain't Misbehaving. Uh, it's been recorded by some 35 or 40 different professional singers. I'm going to give you some of these, of course, from the jazz age, you have Louis Armstrong, Ella Fitzgerald, Billie Holiday, and Sarah Vaughn. Now, if those names don't ring a bell with you, how about uh, Bill Haney in the comics? They did a rock and roll version during the 50s. If you still don't recognize a name, let's try Ray Charles and Willie Nelson. That should get an applause from somebody. Uh, and in 1985, Hank Williams Jr. even did a country version of Ain't Misbehaving, which was nominated for a Grammy Award as the Outstanding Country Song of the Year. Fats Waller was born in 1904 and died in 1943, only 39 years. He was the first black jazz piano player to have his own radio program, and I'm sure his short life was probably caused from being overweight, and he, he liked to drink a lot too. That didn't help. Ain't misbehaving. And listen for the amen at the end of this.
We got one more to end the concert. We're going to do a song called Cartoon Symphony. When I was a kid growing up, Saturday mornings was cartoon time on the TV. Uh, Bugs Bunny, Donald Duck, and uh, all of these cartoons that were so good back in those days. My kids grew up with the Flintstones and the Jetsons. And yours, if you got them, are growing up with uh, Masa and the Bear, uh, the Simpsons, and SpongeBob. So cartoons have evolved over the, the decades. And we're going to play this cartoon symphony. It has a lot of different cartoon themes in this. Uh, we're going to end our concert with this and see how many of these you might recognize. Cartoon symphony. y'all being here and uh, next Monday night uh, the jazz band you'll see all of these students again now they'll be in an ensemble with the jazz band we have some guest artists and you don't want to miss this this is going to be a fantastic concert come Monday night at seven o'clock right here thank you all again for being here
Thank you.